And even everything here is destroyed. Like, all of this stuff looks like it's been here forever. So they pretty much just came into, like, this beautiful place and destroyed it. And then everybody just moved out. Uh, what's this gonna do? Oh, I probably gotta get, like, power back on. Maybe from going this way. So I'm gonna follow this wire. I would assume that's where the power would be. Oh, right here. Is there anything up there? Oh wait, I could probably trampoline it. Oh, alright. I had to do that. That is in, right? Wait, can I pull it out too? <laughs> It's that one game, what is it, plug, plug and play or whatever? That game where you just plug stuff in. That, it's a really weird game. I actually haven't played it yet, but I've seen a bit of it. Alright, let's actually go do what we're supposed to be doing. Instead of jamming a plug in an outlet over and over again. That probably... Oh, I... As I jumped into it, I realized that was a bad idea. <laughs> oh man. Gotta restart. So yeah, all these breaks in the wire are not good. Isn't this thing metal? I was gonna say maybe you could use this, like push it so we don't get electrocuted. Oh no, we can hook on to that thing up there. That's how we get across. When it's on. <laughs> Wait, couldn't we just... You might actually be able to... probably not. It seems like they did a lot of testing on this game, but I was gonna say, you might even be able to build up enough speed to get over that. But then you probably wouldn't be able to get through the chain. Anyways, I'm wasting time. <laughs> Talking about how you might be able to do something. Instead of just doing the thing I'm supposed to do. So yeah, let's not go flying off the ledge. Yeah. It even zooms out the camera so you know what to do. But since I just came flying into it at full speed. Oh, great. Oh. No, I was going to say, do I need the... I thought I needed the block back over here. The box that I used to get up from the other side. But I wouldn't be able to get up. Oh, I guess I could go go back. See, I thought I needed this, maybe. I get it. Um, I gotta go shut the power off. And then put the box on the button. Because now we have something tied over here. Because I have it tied to there, I can always come back up. Right? No, we want it tied onto this up here. And then we can untie this one and this one because they're useless now. And then we also want to tie onto these ones, right? Or we don't need to do that, no. No. I was going to say we could tie onto those ones to get past the electricity, but we won't have the electricity until we get to the other side anyways. So yeah, this is fine. Yep. Yeah. Alright. I guess we could have just stayed tied off down there too, because we could have used a trampoline to get up here, but whatever. Um, I'm going to leave that tied on just in case. Hopefully it doesn't screw me over in the long run. And now i got to not die here. There's like a timing to this, right? This one should be a high one. Oh god, I don't have enough yarn. <laughs> Alright, it almost did screw me over. T not tying off, or not untying myself, that is. Because yeah, that's a lot of yarn that we kind of just left behind. And they did it on purpose, like you run out exactly when you're underneath it. So it slows you down and then it would have crushed me if I wasn't paying attention. Here we go. Now we should have enough, I hope. So let's see, this is a short one, right? And then there should be a long one. Alright. And now we can do this. Um, and actually build up a bit of speed. We gotta wait for the high one again. There we go. Let's 
Was there? Oh, I thought maybe I could break the chain up there because it looked loose, but I don't. Oh, just shut off. Wait, can I jump onto it now? No. Okay, they don't even let you, like, jump to it. That's another secret. What is this? Somebody, like, face palming. Not very happy. Oh, it's like a dump, it looks like. So, I don't know why they're dumping, like, nuclear waste and stuff, but... It was de it's definitely a dump over here, all these trash bags, and that guy was upset about it. For obvious reasons. I don't know who exactly he is. He was wearing, like, a yellow vest, so you think he'd be, like, a worker? Am I gonna need this? Whatever, I'll just leave it here for now. Oh. Oh, alright. What do we do? Or, I don't know if we need it, but we can bring it up here, so why not? And then we can bring it up there. Always bring your personal protective equipment with you. Can I, yeah, can I just run around underneath this thing and then it'll like save me? And then if that, uh, like, uh, the heck is it? I don't even remember what it's called, the groundhog. <laughs> the groundhog comes back. Oh, well, that was a waste. It just goes, oh, never mind, we need it to get up here. And I was gonna say, if the groundhog comes back, we can just, uh, hide under the helmet. I don't like that giant thing above me, that's why I kind of paused for a second. That is just doesn't seem... Oh, wait, we could move that. I think we could actually move this. Slowly, but we can. There we go. And then we can make a trampoline wherever we can move it. Which I want to see if we can go up here. Push it a little bit more. There we go. Definitely easier for pushing instead of pulling, which makes sense. It looks like we can get in there. Maybe not. Oh, well, we can, but we might have to go from the other side. Oh, never mind. I can see that thing. That thing. What was to the right then? Do I go back down? once I get the checkpoint, it might screw me. Whatever, I'll get the checkpoint. I'm not going to waste more time. But I do want to see if there's anything down here. Because, like, if we pull this over here... Oh, damn it. Well, now we can't, can we? Oh, yeah. Well, we only can pull it... Okay, never mind. We can pull it a lot farther than I thought. I was going to say, we only can pull it until our rope runs out. Or yarn runs out. Can we flip it? This is probably... Okay, maybe we can't. I was gonna say, this is a bad idea, because it'll screw me, screw me over even more if I can. Alright. It probably isn't even anything over here. No. Whatever. I don't think it, there is anything. And if there is, we'll probably have to go over there. Whatever. Let's go back up. It looks like we gotta pull on the lever in there, which is probably gonna, like, release something and probably drop it and smash something. We'll see. Tie off on it? It's sparkling. That one seemed to be sparkling. Oh, Alright. <laughs> I didn't think we were gonna release the seat, to be honest. Oh, there we go. That's what I needed. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> My yarn's just all over the place. Uh, can we get out here? Probably not. I saw this button down there, too. There's a secret down there, so we'll have to go down there to get that. Probably not a good idea to go down here. Because now we don't have any yarn left, so we're gonna have to go all the way back. <laughs> so why am I continuing? I don't know why. 
Somehow, I haven't run out of yarn. So I guess they actually gave me tons of yarn this time. Oh, I just ran out. <laughs> I was like, why can't I swing? Oh, damn it. Um, I'm gonna try restarting and hope I got a checkpoint. I think I got a checkpoint when I broke it. Right? The backhoe was like down, right? Yeah, looks like it. Yeah, it is. Alright. Look at all this excess string. Can I pull it? I don't think so, because I'm like tied onto that. It's like wedged into the little dump thing. Whatever. Wait. It still shows up as a trampoline. Like it's glowing like it's a trampoline. Oh, I can untie. Because this is the box that we smashed. That's why it's like that. Alright. Let's go. Now we should have enough yarn. Now I didn't run all the way around the excavator. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh, there's a thing in the locker, isn't it? Why was it so one of the guys must have been working here like one of the people who was knitting all these like there's a crab So one of the guys Oh great You better not take it. He's gonna make the level longer I was just saying at the beginning of this level how the crows are my friends and then he comes and screws me over Oh, that sucks. Oh, and then the next chapter is probably going to be chasing the crow. But yeah, like I was saying, one of the guys, like I'm assuming the old lady that we saw at the beginning was knitting all these. And she knit one for him. The guy who was working there. How much is enough is the next one down in a hole. So um, we probably got pictures for that. I kind of want to see it because somebody was getting arrested at the beginning of it. Or at least that's what it looked like. Or being, like, getting dragged away by people in the colored vests. See, we didn't even get one. So that's the extra chapters. That's why. But we still don't know where the photos are. Oh, well, I don't know. I'm going to... But there's definitely not 12 uh, that are going to fit on the front of that book. Uh, down in a hole. They claim to be saviors, and they say we'll starve without them. Our young do need work, but these people, these people's promises make no sense. How can they save the place by destroying it? So yeah, they probably set up like a factory or some sort of dump or whatever, and people started rioting because who wants that? For some reason, that uh, excavator on the right looks like it's totally photoshopped in. It might be just the way the sun's hitting it, but it looks like it, it stands out so much. Anyways, yeah, they obviously didn't like this, them building it in their, like, peaceful land. But they offered people jobs. And there's the guy with the, the, uh, yarn thing. Obviously not too happy about it, but he needs work. Alright. What was the next one? So it was down in a hole, was that one. And then the next one up. Well, we didn't do too bad with secrets. Three out of five. Not really good, but not bad either. So how much is enough? This is technically the last picture frame that I've seen. I don't know where we go from here, but I guess we'll find out. Because there's supposed to be quite a few more chapters, apparently. It seems like it. 